Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and it's time for this week's episode, or actually this day's episode of Five Minutes with Phil. And I'm taking you to Romans chapter 8 again, and this time I'm going to look at two verses. Verses 31 and 32. I want you to listen to this, because uh, this is really good stuff. Here's what verse 31 and 32 say. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Then verse 32 says, Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us any everything else? Wow. I mean, think of that. Think of that. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've, I've had moments where I've kind of fallen into the trap of thinking that everybody and everything is against me, right? And so I get a little bit overwhelmed by stuff. And um, then I'm reminded of this first verse, verse 31, that says, If God's for me, who could be against me? I mean, he's God, right? He's God. So it doesn't matter what somebody on Facebook thinks of me. It doesn't matter what a co-worker thinks of me. It doesn't matter what somebody at school thinks of me. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks of me. It doesn't matter what people try to do to me. If God's for me, who could be against me? And again, this is a familiar portion of Scripture for a lot of us, but if we're not careful, we'll leave out that Verse 32, and again, this is big, so, so you, you got you to gotta reread this verse, verse 32. It says this, Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Wow, you know what? I think a lot of times we think that God is just holding back on us, that, uh, that he doesn't care that he doesn't love us, maybe because we haven't gotten the answer to our prayers that we've been looking for, right? And so we, we start to question that as, as a sign. Okay, God, is it a sign that you're displeased with me or you don't like me or I've done something wrong? That's a big one. I've done something wrong and so... And you know what? There's no so. <laughs> if, if, if he gave his own son for us, and he absolutely did that. How much more will he give us everything we need? I mean, that's huge. I mean, that, that, that's, that's amazing. Most of you know I'm a really proud dad. And I love that young man to death. And i got to be honest with you, I... I I cannot fathom the thought of trying to give up my own son, hoping that people will respond correctly to that gift. I can't fathom the idea of giving up something so precious to me at the chance that somebody will receive that gift well and then others won't. And yet that's precisely what God did. This God who loves us, who cares for us, who gave his own son for us, he'll also give you all that we need. And that's pretty cool. So it's based on that that we could say, man, if God's for me, who could be against me? I mean, yeah, not to mention he's the creator of the entire universe. Not to mention that Jesus rose from the dead. I mean, <laughs> I mean, so there's power there. But, but I don't want you to just focus on his power today. I want you to focus on his love and his grace to you. Because there is nobody, there is no one in your life, there's nobody in this world that can show you that same amount of love and grace like God did and sending his own son. And if he did that, he's not going to be hesitant to give you what you need. So rest in that today. Believe that today. And I pray God's best for you. Take care.
Thanks for being with me.